When you talk about love, romance, and charming ladies man, you will definitely talk about Maurice Sam. Featuring in majority of Nigerian movies on YouTube like A Heart to Love, A Passionate Love Affair, Fond of You, Love and Stitches, name them. Mind you, he is always the main character of these movies. But why is he not featured on Netflix movies? Today, we must find out. But before we continue, please hit the like button as it helps us with the YouTube algorithm. In 2020, the streaming giant officially launched its presence in Nigeria, the first from the league of streaming platforms like Hulu and HBO. Genevieve Naji, whose directorial debut, Lionheart, was acquired by Netflix in 2018, led the cast of the video. Africans taking charge of African stories was the message emphasized by Netflix, which sees Netflix Ninja feature more Nigerian movies and TV series. Nollywood, as the industry is more widely known, is vital to this mandate because of its output, producing about a thousand movies a year, surpassing Hollywood and only second to Bollywood. Since 2020, Netflix has acquired more and more Nigerian movies including King of Boys, Blood Sisters, The Black Book, and Glamour Girls. In fact, take a look at the list. But how many of these movies have Maurice Sam featured in? Well, so far, Maurice Sam has only been featured in two Netflix movies, On The Real, and Blood Sisters. Shocking, right? Considering how famous he is on the Nollywood scene and how influential he is on TikTok makes you wonder, what's wrong? Could it be that his acting skills are outdated like those old Nollywood actors? Or is he too expensive to hire? This can't be the case because as we know it, Netflix pays a whole lot compared to the traditional Nollywood market. So what could it be? In terms of acting, we all know how good Maurice Sam is. When he acts like a dangerous or brutal husband, he is always on top and he handles it like no one else could. When it comes to romance and love movies, we all see how good Maurice Sam is. He sure knows how to kiss and how to make a lady feel like a woman. These often get the fans on their feet and you can hardly hear someone who faults or hates him in any way. Again, when you consider that Maurice Sam surely has fans more than the majority of the actors, we all know that normally in Nigerian movies, the producers tend to cast people who are famous and those who can drag viewers to the movies just like in the old days when they used one particular actor or actress or whole lot. Of course, that's the case on YouTube Nollywood. But why is that not the case in Netflix movies? What is wrong? Could it be that the producers are jealous of Maurice Sam and don't want to make him a star on an international level? Could that be the reason why Maurice Sam is not being featured on Netflix? Well, let's take a look at the few movies that he featured in on Netflix. Let's try and see if we can find out where it went wrong. The movie Blood Sisters is the most popular movie Maurice Sam featured in that is still on Netflix. Not that he played a main role in this movie, but his role really stood out. Let's dive deeper into his character, Blade. Now, Blade, played by Maurice Sam, is arguably the most talked about Blood Sisters character on social media, with everyone calling him the worst assassin ever. Then there's something about him that makes his character stand out from the very first scene, and the character introduction, Blade, aka Razor Blade, was presented to us as one bad guy who was hired by Femi, the groom's brother, to do a dirty job. This role wasn't supposed to be funny, but it ended up being funny. Not because of Maurice Sam himself or the role, this is definitely the director's fault. When he enters the hotel or event center where his supposed victim is, this guy looks at the CCTV camera and then eyes the security detail he just passed when he was supposed to appear innocent and less threatening. Now he was seen sipping juice instead of doing what they sent him to do. Not to talk of him wearing a leather jacket in the wedding ceremony. Anyways, he proceeded with his mission and without provocation, he passed between two guys forcefully and then proceeded to attack a waitress coming down the stairs. Mind you, as an assassin on this kind of mission where there are lots of witnesses, are you not supposed to stay anonymous? After that, 
Maurice Sam, aka Blade, continued on his mission and then he encountered his target's collar. Of course, the fight wasn't real. The fight looked amateur as you can see and considering that Maurice Sam is an assassin and was supposed to act an assassin, we expected him to be more superior during this fight. But as the director or whoever's fault it is, the supposed victim in Agbada was able to overpower Maurice Sam the blade. And in a real sense, this is not supposed to happen. Like if you are an assassin and you've been showing how strong you are, you started by pushing people, passing through people and all that just to end up being beaten by a man in Agbada. So when you consider all this and all that, of course, we can see that this is mainly the director's fault or the fault of the people that are responsible for the action or the scripts. But given the fact that Maurice Sam was the one that played this role, we can say that this role wasn't the best, even though it was popular because of who he is and the fame he already has. But the character that he played wasn't the right one for him. This might be the reason why he seems to not be a good fit in the eyes of the producers on Netflix. But we all know how good Maurice Sam is. So no matter what happened in this movie, that is definitely the fault of the director. I'm not an actress, so maybe he could have played it better than he did. Who knows? But that is what it is. Maurice Sam is a good actor, no argument on that. But he will have to step up his game so he would be able to get the attention he deserves. Considering how Maurice Sam has been in the industry, I believe he is not a poor person. And if you are not being cast by the producers, why not be the producer yourself with the influence you have, the fame you have, and the money you have? He can collaborate, he can get investors and produce his own movie while being the star of the movie for Netflix. You can't always be the actor for the rest of your life. If you noticed, most of the actors and actresses do end up being producers and all that, so I think Maurice Sam should focus on doing that as well. Use your fame and your money and produce your own movie and make yourself the star of the movie. This way, you will get the recognition that you need. This is just it, and this is what I think. Because Netflix is the way, Netflix is the future. We all know that. And Netflix pays more money than YouTube. We all know that as well. We believe that it is time for Maurice Sam to start pushing for more recognition and more quality, you know? Maurice Sam can be the star that we all want him to be. But well, first of all, he will have to feature more on Netflix than he currently is. If you know any more reasons why Maurice Sam isn't featured on Netflix movies, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our content, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Ireti? You ready, sir? Good morning, sir. Are you dumb? No, sir. No, no, I'm sorry. Are you stupid? No, sir. Are you sure? What's the meaning of this? Taste this egg. Sir? I will slap stupidity out of your life. Taste the egg! Okay, sir. What can we do the egg? What kind of stupid question is that? What did I tell you about adding salt to my egg? No, I'm not put salt though. Now my gear put. You added what? You added what? You added seasoning to my eggs? Tell me, did my village people send you to me? You're a complete waste of my time. Get out. Out of my sight! In The Culprit, Maurice Sam was the baddest guy ever. The amount of emotion and the passion he invested in the movie is amazing. I am certain he forgot he was on set of a movie and he overshot. Maurice was done living a bad life but his bad past was not ready to let go. You care to explain what just happened back there? I knocked him out. You knocked him out? Was there any need for that? Was there any need stopping him from doing anything silly? Are you kidding? That guy almost peed on himself. He was afraid. He was terrified. You think you have the boss to do anything silly? I did what every criminal would do. No, you did what you always do. I didn't mean no disrespect, but we are criminals. I just did what I'm supposed to do. You're damn right. The next time you pull a stunt like that, I will pull the trigger on you to remind you that I'm also a criminal. Oscar, what's wrong with you? You used to be the badass here. I'm done being an ass. You know what? 
I want all three of you to get out of my house. No, I'm not joking. Out of my house. Yeah, my fucking this moment. It's okay. Down, you hear me? It's okay. No, it's okay. It's fine.